This is going to be part one of two parts of generating and installing an SSL certificate on your Shortel Conference Bridge or the SA100 appliance. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the Shoreware Director uh, to log in and get to the place where we can generate the key requests or the CSR. Once this comes up, we're going to log in. Uh, Active Directory, we're going to log in. I'm going to go to Platform Hardware, look at my appliances, and if I have it configured pro properly, if I have it configured properly, I'm going to click on the launch, and the launch is actually going to bring up the um, it's going to bring up the conference administration portal. And what we want to do is we want to go to HTTPS. Now I already get the certificate installed on here, but uh, here's what we're going to do. Um, It'll tell you right now if it's currently enabled or disabled. Uh, the one thing you need to know is you can enable or disable it, but if you're going to upload the certificate, you're going to have to reboot the web server on this, and there's a button on the bottom. So what we want to do is, in order to do this, we need two things. Number one is we want to click on Download CSR, and we want to download the key. But first, we have to create a CSR request. So we create new CSR, and I'm going to put in here the country is the U.S., and it's uh, California. And it's Encinitas, and it's Land Intelligence, it's IT, and the common name will be conference.landintelligence.com, and the email address will be mine. So I'm going to click Create CSR. It's going to create that CSR file. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. But what's going to happen is I'm then going to go down and say Download the CSR. When I download the CSR, it's going to allow me to save it uh, in its notepad. And you can see here that I've got USB server.csr. Now this is what is going to be required for me to generate the certificate. Now there's a UCB server key as well. Uh, that actually gets installed. You can download it, but it also gets installed on the actual uh, conference bridge server. And I take a look using WinSCP uh, Win, Win, uh, and we can go in and take a look at that. So I've got the certificate. Now what I want to do is I want to find somebody who's going to provide a certificate for me. So I'm going to go over and I found this company called Goomba Hosting. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to, it's going to ask me what type of server that I want. So I'm going to click just on the economy here. Um, then I'm going to go click on order. And I'll say Linux Web Hosting. And you'll see here that I'm going to choose, uh, choose another category. And then you're going to see SSL certificates over here. So I'm going to click on SSL certificates. And then what I'm going to bet is just the basic certificate. This one's at $69 a year. So I'm going to go and order that certificate. And basically, it, you can put that in for $69 a year. Uh, and you want to put the common name again. So the common name is going to be, you know, for us, it's going to be conference.lantelligence.com. So actually, I'm going to log in here. I'm going to show you the process. So I'm going to go into my products and services. And so what happens is you get this SSL, SSL management um, process. So you check CSR uh, validity. So what it's going to do is it's going to bring up a web page. And you can go back to your notepad. And you basically copy and paste this in. Your UCB CSR server.csr just to make sure it's correct. And this is a thought certificate. So I hit check CSR validity. It's going to come back whether it's good or not. And this actually tells you that it's completed successfully. So it's it's valid. So I'm going to go back. Once I've done that, I'm going to be able to enroll the certificate. And basically, in enrolling the certificate, you're going to have to fill out the details um, of the certificate information, who is the approver. Um, you're going to have to uh, put all that information in and enroll your certificate because it's going to send you a link and you are gonna have to click on that link to accept it um, and then once that's done um, it will you can check your certificate status and you'll see the certificate status it'll tell you the certificates issue or it's pending it will give you all the information it's uh, who was in your configuration prior uh, once I have that I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna download my certs all right and when I go down to here and I say obtain certificate what it's gonna do is gonna show me a web page that has my, my primary cert and my intermediate cert. Um, I've used both of these uh, because it, there's a place for it in the conference bridge. So basically just copy and pasted these keys. This is the primary one and this is the intermediate. I copied into a text 
file and you'll see here that I have the conference outlet intelligent key that's the primary one with the begin and end certificate that's key and those need to be in there and then the intermediate I called conference outlet intelligence which is the intermediate key and it's got two keys in it so I save those okay now I'm ready to go in and upload that into the conference bridge so if I go to the conference bridge which is uh, the HTTPS conference bridge which we can see here I'm going to go back to my communicator and I'm going to go down to this part so let's just reset it I'm going to go down here to upload the certificate so I'm going to go to the SSL certificate which is the primary one so I'm going to hit browse and I saved it as a key file so I'm going to dot, dot key I'm going to save it as a dot cert file as well so intelligence key and then I'm going to take the second one and that's another key file. Uh, put that in there. And then hit upload. Okay, and it's going to upload the certificates into the server. And then you'll see that you want to make sure your HTTPS is enabled. If it's not, just click OK to enable it on the on the on the server. Um, it doesn't tell you much more than that. All you can do is basically hit restart web server. It's going to say it's going to take a few minutes. And once the web server has restarted, what you should be able to do at that point, uh, depending on how long it takes, is be able to go in using HTTPS or just conference.lintelligence.com, and it should automatically update it to a, a secure site. And you can see it immediately goes to HTTPS. It's a secure site, um, and it's all good. So my SSL certificate has been um, enabled.